Boy Scouts of America has made a powerful online tool called Scoutbook available to all units for free. Scoutbook enables leaders, scouts, and parents to do a lot. For this tutorial, we are focusing on how merit badges are managed. You may use any web browser to log into Scoutbook. Google Chrome and Firefox have add-ons that enable additional features. We will look at those options near the end of this tutorial. Before we get started, you will need to log into Scoutbook. If you haven't done this before, go to www.scoutbook.com and log in using the same login information you use to complete online YPT training on my.scouting.org. As soon as you log in, select My Dashboard. This should be at the top of the list, but if it's not, look at the top left corner of your screen. You should see a house icon. You can click on that to return home to the main menu, or if there is a folder icon next to it, that will take you straight to your dashboard. Once at your dashboard, you can see that my screen will look different than yours because it is personalized to your connections. A Merit Badge Counselor cannot sign off on a Scout's Merit Badge within Scoutbook if they are not connected to that Scout as their Merit Badge Counselor for that specific Merit Badge. Next, we will go over the steps to connect them. Scoutmasters and Assistant Scoutmasters, along with a few other troop adult positions, can pull up a Merit Badge Counselor list to find a counselor for a scout before connecting them. You can pull up a list of counselors by going to your unit and clicking on Merit Badge Counselor list. Here you can enter in a desired zip code and select other criteria you want. This list is not easily printable, so don't bother trying. Just look up what you need when you need it. Now that you know the name of the counselor, you need to attach them to the scout. To do this, go into the scout's advancement and find the merit badge that you want to connect to a counselor. If the merit badge is not there, you will need to start a new merit badge. Once started, you can click on Invite Counselor. If the scout is already connected to the counselor for another reason, you can select them from their existing connections. Otherwise, you will need to add a connection by clicking on Add. Type in the name of the counselor and press enter to search for them. If the person being searched for is not registered as a merit badge counselor with counsel for that specific merit badge, then you will not be able to connect them. Only merit badge counselors approved by and registered with counsel for that specific merit badge can be selected. If you are certain that the person you are attempting to connect is a registered counselor for that merit badge, contact your local council and ask them to upload the information into Scoutbook. If the desired counselor appears in the search results, select them and a new menu will appear. Here, you will need to choose Merit Badge Counselor as the connection type. Next, you will need to select which Merit Badges they will be working with the Scout on. All Merit Badges the Scout has in Scoutbook, with no counselor assigned, will appear if it matches what the new counselor is approved for. Click the desired merit badge or badges and scroll to the bottom of the screen. Here you will want to type a message that will appear in the email invitation to the counselor. Finally, click on invite to complete the process. If a merit badge was added by mistake, it can be deleted by going into the merit badge and clicking on percent completed and then selecting remove merit badge. Before confirming the removal, make certain that you are removing the correct merit badge from the correct scout because this action cannot be undone and could cause the scout to lose comments, videos, and pictures showing what they have completed so far. Scouts have few options and cannot assign themselves a merit badge counselor. Therefore, ideally the troop leadership is using Scoutbook and assigning counselors to scouts so that the scout can see how to contact the counselor. This also helps the counselor keep track of who they are helping and for which merit badges. Merit badge counselors have different options from troop leadership. As a parent, you can't access the merit badge counselor list for the troop. But if you know the name of the counselor, you can add them to your scout's merit badge. To access the scouts you are working with on a merit badge, you will need to click on My Account and then select My Connections. Here, it lists all the scouts you are working with and for which merit badges. A new feature in Scoutbook for counselors is to connect to a scout directly as long as you know the scout's BSA number and last name. 
this can be useful when the Scouts unit chooses not to use Scoutbook, or when Scouts sign up for a district or council level merit badge program, enabling the organizer to enter completion information directly into Scoutbook, improving efficiency and accuracy of the completion information sent to units after the event. Information entered into Scoutbook is visible on the Advancements website. To review and edit a Scout's Merit Badge, from the Connections page, select the Scout and then select the Merit Badge. Mark off requirements that have been completed. You can also record comments and view comments and pictures and videos that the Scout has posted for the purposes of providing evidence of what they have done. This is great if you are only working with a few Scouts at a time. But if you are running a class with several scouts, this can be tedious. That is why I also use Google Chrome with the Scoutbook add-on. Here you can see the dashboard for a Merit Badge Counselor looks quite different. If you are working with multiple youth on a Merit Badge, these options allow you to enter badge completion information. You can mark the entire Merit Badge complete or mark individual requirements complete. When you approve the completion of the requirement, the unit is notified on their needs approval report that there is something the scout completed that requires their attention. You are also able to produce a report allowing you to review progress so far in a merit badge for any number of scouts you select. Because this is an add-on to Scoutbook and not the official program supplied by Boy Scouts of America, glitches can be present. If you find yourself stuck, go to the web address and delete everything after scoutbook.com and then reload the page and you can start working again. That's it for now. Remember, there is so much more to Scoutbook, so take your time to look around and learn about this powerful resource that Boy Scouts of America has made available to all registered units. I hope you found this video informative so that you can do your best to be prepared to help Scouts continue to advance during a need for social distancing and beyond.